All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to do the workbook. Workbook, page thirty-eight. All right. So open your workbook. Write today's day and date. So today is Tuesday, the second of November. Twenty twenty. Okay. Now collect four different rocks. Look at your rocks carefully. Sort them into two groups. Don't forget to give each group a name. All right. So I have got uh, four rocks over here. I've got actually five rocks. Okay. All right. I've got some rocks here. So what we are going to do is we are going to sort out the rocks based on. the different characteristics like rough smooth uh maybe uh colors maybe size okay so the first one i am going to uh group it in size so big first group is big second group is small now if you have your own rocks You look at your rocks and you write the uh, numbers. Okay, so if you have collected rocks, like I asked you to collect, if you have collected them, you can write down your number. You don't have to follow me, but if you don't have any rocks, you can follow me. So the first group is size. So I have written big and small. Okay, so the first separation is on size. so the rule for sorting rocks what is the rule size i have put it as size so big and small now i'm going to look at my rocks i have collected 5 okay so i have got maybe one big and four small okay so i'm going to write one and four this is big and the others are a bit smaller so i put small All right. Now try sorting your rocks in different way. Now the next way that I'm going to stop uh, sort them out is texture. Texture means rough and smooth. Okay. So rough and smooth. All right. Please write this down. Okay. Now I have five rocks. Now as you can see. these three are quite rough i touch them i it's quite rough and these two are quite smooth so i'm going to put three rough and two smooth now if you have got uh your own rocks you can see the texture and write your own number okay this can be your number you don't have to follow me if you have your own rocks all right All right, and then the next one, I'm going to sort it out as per color. All right, so I'm going to put dark, medium, and light. All right, dark, medium, and light. Okay, three different groups. So, looking at my rocks. I have two dark. All right, these I would call dark. So I put two dark. Then I have two medium colors. You look at these two; they look medium. And then I have one which is white, or as you call it, light. Okay. So now I have sorted my rocks according to different. Uh, I've sorted my rocks according to different ways. Okay. If you have your own rocks, please sort them out in your own way. All right. You can sort. You can use the same headings, size, texture, and color, but your numbers can be different if you have your own rocks. All right. I asked you to collect some rocks, so if you can, you can do it by yourself. All right. Now next page. Page thirty nine. Write down the date. 
Now you can write down the short date for this page. Alright, you can write down the short date. Now, hi mom and dad, having a great time. Uncle Omar asked Layla and me to help sort rocks. It was really boring at first, but all the rocks were very different and we ended up having lots of fun. We sorted them into three groups by looking at how they were made. They were the groups we sorted the rocks. These were the groups we sorted the rocks into. All right. So the first question, we checked one of Uncle Omar's geology books and we moved the sandstone into the se second group because it is a sedimentary rock. So that means you have to move the sandstone here because the second group is sedimentary rocks. Now, if you remember the notes that I gave you, you will remember I gave you different examples of the rocks. Which rocks are which? So, the first group is igneous. The second group is sedimentary. And the last group is metamorphic. Okay, so that's how the rocks are divided. Okay, so the first group is igneous, second is sedimentary, and the third is metamorphic. This one you cancel and move it here. All right, so this, this is what you're supposed to do. Okay, now let's look at the questions. Do you agree with the way Ali sorted out the rocks? Why and why not? So you write down, yes, moving the sandstone into group two means that all the rocks in group 2 are sedimentary rocks. Okay? Now, and all the rocks in group three, sorry, uh, all the rocks in group one, sorry, all the rocks in group one are igneous. All right, so. That's the answer for the first one. Second one, what other ways could Ali have sorted the rocks? Ali could have sorted the rocks into color, weight, or age of rocks. Now I'm, I'm going to also write this down on the board and take a picture and send it to you. So if you cannot understand my handwriting, please see on the board and you can copy from there.